it's Diane Elizabeth here and I thought I would finally give you a studio tour of our storage shed turned photo blocking studio but still a storage shed and it's a lot more glamorous than it sounds. <laughs> this is the door that you would come in and right over here are some stools because sometimes you know you just want to pose on a stool and it looks good and a pink step ladder because why not bought this ikea bookcase and here are a couple baskets that i just kind of are filled with random things like when i have models in here beauty supplies bobby pins things like that random props over here catalogs for inspiration for poses you know j crew always has like the cutest poses Bluetooth speaker and in these drawers, it's like odds and ends, light bulbs for the house. Oh, you know, every single box of every single lens and camera that I own because that's just how photographers roll. You know, we just like think we've got to hold on to these things because if we do resell them, you got to have the box, right? Here are some color backdrops, uh, cloth tension cords, um, you know, just random, random things in here. Backdrops up top ceiling mount instead of the wall mount your ceilings are not even eight feet tall or maybe they are so if they went lower and you know i'm five seven and a half and then i wear heels that's not going to work very well and there is the mirror right here so clients can come in and just see their whole body when they're um getting ready so behind the curtain we bought this at ikea curtains are really cheap had to sew them that was really a pain these are about four panels and the ceiling mount um, on the track so it's really nice we keep it closed all the time just because we don't like seeing all of our junk back here i mean it's a lot of random stuff but we really condensed a ton you wouldn't even believe how much stuff i mean pretty much this whole area <laughs> was stuff that we did not need that we just spread out. So it's amazing. It's kind of like when you get a big purse and you just fill it with stuff because you have the space, like when you have a big house and you can really, really get rid of most of the things you own if you really think about it and if you want to make the space for it. This was a huge game changer. You just need air conditioning and you need heat. Like that's what makes the space livable, right? So this is courtesy of build.com. Thank you so much for sending this to me. Um, it just, I can create now in the summer. I can create it in the winter. It's great. It's absolutely perfect. My Phoenix Magazine covers have found a home in the studio. I think it's appropriate because that's where photography happens here. So here is the cover that I shot. Hopefully you recognized her. Hello. The space is about 14 feet by 15 feet and I decided that the best use of space was a creative space for me so I can blog at night. I mean I blog at my my home office um, in the house but I can create here and take photos any time of the day because it just kind of got a little hard doing that when it's 8 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock at night in the house and having backdrops up in the living room. So this is a creative space where I can also not only create at night but bring my clients here as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love